fairly small shower chance that you could see in the early part of the day, but as we even head, head into the middle to late part of the morning, I'm thinking we'll be dry and then even sunny after that. That's really nice. I know, it'll be good uh, once we get past this rain that we've got for today and tomorrow though. Here's a look outside at satellite and radar. We've got those showers moving through the area, scattered showers at this point, and seeing blue on the map rather than all of those yellow. So things are starting to calm down for us, but I'll tell you, it doesn't get much calmer than this as we head into the next couple of hours. We'll continue to see those light scattered showers off and on throughout the evening and then in the overnight hours it'll become consistent once more and stay consistent through the day on your Saturday. Here's a look at current temperatures and radar. I'll tell you another thing that's not really changing all that much is those temperatures. We really won't see a huge drop overnight tonight. We'll stay in the mid to low 40s. We also really won't see a huge climb by tomorrow afternoon. We'll stay in the mid to low 40s. So this is really what we're seeing as we head through the next 24 hours or so just the only thing that changes is the intensity of that rain by the time you wake up tomorrow morning the intensity is back up to kind of what we saw today with those heavy downpours and consistent rain throughout the day if you are planning on traveling for your easter weekend this evening is probably realistically the best time to do it because we're just seeing those scattered showers and the rain is lighter. As we head into the day tomorrow, it becomes heavy once more. We also have winds in the 10 to 20 mile per hour range as we head into the day tomorrow, so not quite as strong as they were today where we had winds gusting 30 to 40 miles per hour, but still some breezy, strong, gusty winds throughout the triad as well as the foothills. Here's a look in the 10 to 15 mile per hour range for the peak winds in the foothills as we head into the day tomorrow. Temperatures in the mid to low 40s all throughout the day and then as we look towards the high country we start off in the upper 30s we make it to the low 40s but what you'll notice by 7 p.m is that we actually took that impact icon off because those rain chances slowly start to die down there on your saturday what you can expect is more scattered rain now through overnight in the next 24 hours though as we head into the day tomorrow that heavier more consistent rain returns and then we'll dry out on easter as we're headed through the next couple of hours those scattered showers continue it's blue you can see that light rain for the most part here's a look by the time you wake up on your Saturday morning, not seeing many gaps in the rain. Most of the heaviest rain will be in our southern portion of our forecast area. Our northern portion, our North Carolina, Virginia county lines uh, or state line counties will see some lighter, more scattered rain, but it stays consistent and it stays moderately heavy throughout the day there for our southern counties, including Randolph County, which reported over an inch of rain already today. As we're looking at the evening here, you can see that cloud cover sticks around, but the showers start to die down heading into the next couple of hours after that and into your Sunday morning. We'll clear out, we'll dry out, things will be looking pretty good, but I think these models might be drying us out a little bit too early, and by that I mean I think early Sunday morning if you're headed to a sunrise service or if you're helping the Easter Bunny maybe hide some of those Easter eggs early on Sunday morning, you might see some of those scattered showers still out there. So just grab the rain jacket and you should be all set. At that point it'll be pretty light. And then into the afternoon we'll see some sunnier skies. So here's a look at this weekend forecast. It's a low rain chance for your Easter Sunday, so I wouldn't let it affect too many plans. Not as many as the Saturday weather is going to affect where it looks like we're going to be dealing with that rain, the chilly rain throughout the day. As we look towards your Easter Sunday, an early shower possible, and then by brunch time, partly cloudy skies cool, but pleasantly so in the upper 50s, which is about 10 degrees cooler than where we normally are at this point of the year. But we'll see a nice warm up as we head into next week. Some cold mornings, Sunday, Monday and Tuesday in the upper 30s, so frost is possible. Gardeners, you want to keep that in mind, but then warming up into the later part of the week, all the way up into the low 80s. All right, Jacqueline, thank you. Checking traffic. Here's a live look. This is I-40 at Gallimore Dairy Road in Greensboro. You can definitely see it's wet out there. And even though there are no issues at this location,